Yo, what's up everybody, it's TT, and iOS 18.3 is officially here, at least the beta is. You know, Apple always dropping these updates to keep things fresh, but sometimes, it's the stuff they mention in the release notes that really makes a difference. So, we're gonna dive deep into iOS 18.3, uncover all the hidden gems, the cool tricks, and the features that might actually change how you use your iPhone every day. We're talking quality of life improvements, subtle tweaks, and honestly, just some fun stuff Apple's cooked up. If you're rocking the 18.3 beta or just hyped for the public release, you're in the right place. Make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future iOS deep dives. Let's get into it. Alright, so first up, let's talk smart home because iOS 18.3 is bringing some serious upgrades to the home app, particularly if you're rocking a robot vacuum. You can now fully integrate your robot vacuum right into the home app. And yeah, I know what you're thinking finally. This isn't just about starting and stopping cleaning cycles from your phone, though it can do that too, of course. We're talking about granular control, people. You can adjust the cleaning mode, so if you just need a quick spot clean or you're going for that deep clean action, you can set it all up right from the home app. But it gets even better. You can check the battery status of your vacuum, which, let's be real, is clutch. Because who wants to come home to a half-cleaned apartment and a dead robot? Nobody. That's who. And the best part is this integration feels seamless, like it should have been there all along. Apple's really upping their smart home game with this update, and it's something I've been waiting for for a while now. Okay, so we've got robot vacuums chilling in the home app, but, hold up, it gets even better iOS 18.3 lets you weave your little cleaning buddy into your home kit automations and scenes. Imagine this. You leave work, your phone connects to your car's Bluetooth and boom, your iPhone triggers a scene that turns on the lights, adjusts the thermostat, and tells your robot vacuum to start cleaning. By the time you get home, your place is spotless, the vibe is right and you didn't have to lift a finger. That's the future right there, and don't even get me started on Siri. You can now ask Siri to start or stop your robot vacuum, check its battery life, even tell it to clean specific rooms. It's all about that hands-free, voice-controlled life and iOS 18.3 is making it smoother than ever. Seriously, the level of customization and control you have over your robot vacuum with this update is next level. It's the kind of feature that seems small on paper but makes a huge difference in how you actually use your smart home devices. Chapter 3 now let's talk about something a little different. Remember Image Playground, that cool little app for messing around with photos and graphics? Yeah, well, Apple's given it a little bit of a facelift in iOS 18.3. Don't worry, it's not a major overhaul or anything. The core functionality is all still there, but the app icon has been subtly redesigned. It's got a cleaner look, more in line with Apple's current design language. Honestly, it's a small change, but it's the kind of detail that shows Apple's paying attention. Plus, the new icon just looks slicker, more modern. It's the little things, you know? I'm digging the direction Apple's taking with the overall design language, and it's cool to see them bringing even the smaller, less used apps up to speed. Chapter 4 Now, I know what you're thinking, MKBHD, you're really geeking out over an app icon update? And yeah, maybe I am, but that's not all iOS 18.3 brings to the table. Under the hood, Apple's been hard at work squashing bugs and optimizing performance. We're talking about the kind of stuff you might not even notice at first, but it makes a big difference in the long run. Think about it. How annoying is it when an app crashes randomly or your phone lags when you're trying to do something important? These bug fixes and performance improvements are all about making iOS 18.3 more stable, more reliable, and just smoother to use overall. It's like a fresh tune-up for your iPhone, making sure everything's running as efficiently as possible, and that's important, especially as our phones become even more central to our lives. Chapter 5 So, you're probably wondering when you can check out all these new features for yourself. Well, as I mentioned earlier, iOS 18.3 is currently in beta testing. This means it's still being refined and polished before it's ready for prime time, but don't worry, Apple's been pretty good about sticking to their release schedule, so we can expect the public release of iOS 18.3 sometime in late January or early February 2025. In the meantime, if you're feeling adventurous and you don't mind the occasional bug or two, you can always sign up for the public beta program and get early access. Just be warned, beta software can be a little unpredictable, so it's always a good idea to back up your data before you take the plunge. 
I'll be sure to keep you guys updated on any major developments or changes as we get closer to the official release date. Outro. So there you have it guys. Those are some of the coolest new features and hidden tricks I've found in iOS 18.3 so far. Overall, it's shaping up to be a solid update with a nice mix of big new features and under-the-hood improvements. The robot vacuum integration is a game-changer for smart home enthusiasts like myself, and the subtle design tweaks show that Apple's still paying attention to the details. Plus, those bug fixes and performance enhancements are always welcome. What do you guys think of iOS 18.3 so far? Are you excited about any of these new features? Let me know down in the comments and don't forget to subscribe for more in-depth tech reviews and deep dives. Peace!